So, while taking a second romp on the Craftsman, one of the guys on the street, on the other side of my street, one of the neighbors, a drunk fellow, he always likes to drink, he always comes home reeking of alcohol, and he goes all down to the bar all the time, you see him walking, got no driver's license because he's got a DUI. So, he stops me, he calls me over, and he's like, hey, I want you to look at this. He has what looks like it might be one of those like 80 cc two stroke kits for a bicycle to motorize it. Um, looking at it, it might have actually came off an old Schwinn. Oh, is that hours maybe? I think so. The hours on the counter. Got all the little giblets, the guys to hold the sprocket on to the spoke. Mounts, chain idler. Even this guy to determine your speed. But seeing how we don't have the original bike, I think this is gonna be useless. Yeah, this is from an old Schwinn. Holy shit. I'm assuming it's even got an electric start. But I, I don't even know. Jeez, this is old school. Oh, someone tried to cobble up some welds. Look at that bird shit welds. That reminds me of me when I first started. <laughs> Got the box, so this is I think a a CDI ignition, so it's got points where it's got to hit. Um, you guys can help me out. I'm assuming that is what. Uh, some sort of adjustment for the clutch. I don't know. Let's see, peoples. Put the master link. Yeah, this is doing old Schwinn. Holy shit. There's the wires coming from the crankcase. I'm assuming that's where this one of these guys or two of these guys got to hook up. And is that the positive going to the electric start if this thing does have one, or if this thing just manually you just got to release the clutch? Or is this guy got no clutch? If anyone can help me out with this, be grand. Uh, okay. He, he, he let me have it for a time being to get it to run. And if I had a bike to throw it on, if I had all the necessary stuff to get it running again, but we'll have to find out. So, in the meantime, choo it. <laughs>